Recently, I took a trip back home and I hadn't seen my father in 15 years. I have my son with me too, who's never met him. And I have to prep him. Like, all right, look, I'm gonna say these things about your granddad, but this is what happened to me. A lot of my upbringing, my dad wasn't the best dad. And I spent my whole 37 years of life trying not to be like him. He was on drugs, he was selling them, he was doing them, he was abusing my mom. My first couple of memories was him pushing her down the stairs, cops at my house all the time, and just not the real role model to look up to. But somehow, some way, that actually changed for me. When I finally do see my dad, he's been clean off of drugs for 23 years. He had three more kids. I got to talk to my little brother for an hour, and he's so smart, and he's bright, and he loves his dad. I don't know if I could ever say that, but to see my little brother say he loves him and he's his best friend and all that stuff, he had it different than I did. I'm in tears and I'm telling him, it's like, Dad, I'm proud of you. The man that I looked at when I was three years old that pushed my mom down those stairs, I didn't want to be like him. But if you fall down and you can get up and redeem yourself and you can change your life, I want to be like you now. The message that I saw in that for myself and the message I pass on to you. Change comes and forgiveness comes, but it comes when you're ready. If you guys got people that's in your life, a dad, a mom, friend, and it's hard for you to let go of what they did, time heals all wounds. Just be open for the forgiveness when it comes. The quicker you forgive, that makes you better.